looks like that's pretty much where all the activity is now. About five minutes ago, maybe ten minutes ago, it was all right over those trees. And now that seems to have died down a little bit. And we're looking more over here now. <clears throat> I do wish this phone were a little bit better at capturing the color because uh, the one over there and that little gap in the clouds on the right, that one there, has a lavender hue to it that I doubt the phone is going to capture. I'm not sure what mode I should be using for my white balance. It was on auto, now I've got it on cloudy, but I mean obviously there's not a lot of a lot of light out here to really balance on anything and if I balance on you know that car's headlamp down there or the porch light across the street, it's not going to be the same as what we're seeing in the clouds. So I don't know, should that be incandescent? Sunlight? Hmm. So now I'm trying the daylight mode for white balance. My exposure compensation is full dark, so that's a negative 2.0. Ooh, I wonder if it got that bolt. A lot of activity up there. I have to stand up. I've been crouching behind a garbage can, using the garbage can to stabilize my phone. My knees are starting to cramp up. Finally starting to see some bolts in it. Seen a lot of action right up in here. Pretty. I've been hearing the thunder from it for a good ten minutes or so, but wow. It's not the usual thunder. You, you can barely hear it, and it's just a whop, whop, whop kind of sound. I doubt it's even loud enough for the phone to pick up. It's about a quarter of the volume of that dog barking. This is truly awesome to watch. That was a weird sounding siren.
You know, it's cool because when we were coming home, uh, we uh, went to get some dinner on the way back from a photo shoot. And uh, bringing it in, the clouds were similar to what they are now. And I came out after eating and taking care of a couple of things and uh, most of the clouds had gone away. It was all clear. And I just happened to look up over these two trees and I saw two satellites, one right up behind the other. So I can only imagine one of them was manned because you don't usually have two satellites that close. They may have been jets, but the way the light disappeared, you know, after uh, crossing the Terminator, makes me believe they were not jets. And uh, I looked them up on a, oh wow. That plane just came right through the cloud. <laughs> For a moment I thought I was looking at some kind of a lightning sprite. But... It's a jet and it's turning. I wonder if it's a weather jet. Do they even have those? Well, anyway. But I, I was afraid the clouds were dissipating, but now they've, they've come back with a vengeance. Oh, wow. I love to see the dimmer lightning barely light up the clouds in the background so that the cloud in the foreground is completely silhouetted. But I don't like it when it's really bright because then it just kind of, you know, washes it out. There's a certain mystery to a partially backlit cloud. Can see some of the structure of the little web of whatever. So this is really annoying. If you're going to park on the street and you're just going to sit there for 20 minutes, it would be good if you turned off your headlights so that you don't blind people who are looking up in your direction. It's really annoying. You know, a lot of people don't even think about it. But every time I glance in that direction, I'm temporarily blinded. Anyway. Really cool stuff. So the clouds are approaching even closer. I'm getting to where I've got to look up at almost a 65, 70 degree angle or so. I don't know what star that is. It's not quite directly overhead. Cloud's about to cover it anyway. And it's gone. But yeah, I was hoping the camera would catch it. You can barely see there's this arc of a cloud right there, almost like a roll cloud. You can barely see it, but as, as it goes down there, it kind of curves. And then there's another layer right below it that kind of curves in the same direction, further away. Just think that's cool, being able to see that in the dim light that we have. Kind of hoping the cloud will be backlit with a bolt of lightning or something that it'll be visible, but 
can't really make any of it out. Because of course all the lightning is above the clouds, so it's all pretty uh, pretty dark down here. I don't know if the, that's the head of Draco or Leo. Uh, directly above my head it wouldn't be either, come to think of it. And it's getting to the point where I can't see any of the lightning for the clouds. So, I've been out here long enough, I'm going to go on back in. might be dirty. I'll have to check that. 